Dímelo, dímelo, Bo Dominican York. What's going on? Happy Sabbath. Happy Saturday, everybody. Happy Saturday. This is a Mr. Hugh Taxi Jordan 1. Uh, I've tried to pull up information on StockX a goat, uh, and honestly, I haven't found it. I got, let's pull out my other phone. I got it in my pocket, but man, these are fresh. These are fresh off the, <laughs> these are fresh. And these came in about 10 days. I think it was because of hiccup and shipping. But uh, the last two shoes, the um, Travis Scott Mocha 1s, and this shoe, the uh, Taxi Jordan 1 High OG. See what it's called. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in the Taxi Black and Sale colorway. Taxi Black and and sale colorway. Let's take a look at them stars. What's popping over here? Loving, very pronounced, beautiful stars. Detailing on the white or the sail midsole. Take a look at that bottom. Great detailing again. Good fidelity on the Nike. Something I gotta check. Is the Nike swoosh supposed to have the trademark R? Uh let's pull out a retail shoe i'll be right back because that's something that i just thought of that i saw in another shoe This is uh, just a question. Sorry that I had to go away. And no, uh, here I've got a retail pair of um, Royal Ones. And it does not have the trademark under the check. All right. Because I did see the trademark on a check on a different shoe. And I don't remember what shoe that was. Or the registered logo. Or, sorry, the R. But back to the shoe. Mr. Hugh, thank you so much. Guys, if you want information on Mr. Hugh, hit me up like you do on IG. Uh, that's where I can actually share information with you. Uh, I will not be doing that on YouTube. Uh, I just want to keep making videos, sharing my love and passion of sneakers. These joints are beautiful, guys. These joints are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Take a look at that Nike Air. Uh, could have been better. Look, I was stretching it out. That looks better. It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. Uh, super happy to have these. These, uh, wait till you see the box. These look great. Made in China. Uh, great fidelity. Does the writing look larger than normal? I don't think so. But these joints really are beautiful. Look at that heel. Hourglass perfection. Uh, the inside, what is there? It's a yellow insole, Nike Air in black. So there's no, there's there's not a lot of retail. There's no retail on StockX. Let's go see if I can pull up Go. Let's see what happens on go. But these joints are beautiful. Uh, before I go into the shoe, let's do a quick black light. Let's see what these things look like. Dirty. I, I, I already did the black light. Where are you? I take my black light around the house, so I thought I didn't have it in the room for a second. But guys, if you are liking the content... Uh, right now, I did want to grab something that I thought I really wanted that's coming up soon. I've got some retail uh, cops coming as well. This shoe is clean, guys. There's no flaws, uh, UV-wise, anywhere on the left shoe. And I'm pretty sure on the right shoe as well. So these are club certified. Uh, Mr. Hugh has delivered again 
and delivered quickly. Uh, the Travis Mochas came in eight days and these came in about 10. Uh, and I think that's really because of the shipping delay. But I, I, I think they had these ready to go. I think they had these ready to go. And that's uh, a good thing. But I think a lot of shoes are ready to go. The only time I really had to wait a long time was uh, when uh, I ordered the first pair, and that was the Travis Scott Bragg Lowe's. Um, that took a minute. I think that that was a popping shoe right at that time, and uh, they were selling out quickly of them. So that's the one that took the longest. Let's take a look at the toe box. They're not identical. They're not perfect. They're perfect to me. That is good shape on the toe box ah to me flawless a flawless shoe to me guys a flawless flawless shoe i think this is another one that i couldn't get the insole out uh and these smell fresh they smell jordan they smell fresh uh, it's not pungent but you can, it, it smells like a Jordan. Oh yeah, these come out nice and easy. So yellow, very felt, very soft footbed. And this insole is the black material, very spongy. Uh, this is definitely an upgraded insole. This feels amazing. In hand, this feels amazing. Uh, let's go to the size tag. I went a half size down, guys, for my natural size to get a snug fit. Uh, if you are a friend of the channel, you know that I've been doing that the last couple months. Hey, got these again in a uh, half size down on my natural size. So I bought these in a 9, and production ran from 1221 through 222. Made in China. Uh, this is... This is a very also spongy bottom. This footbed feels amazing. Um, just like, there was another shoe I just bought that feels like that. Stitching is really good. The quality is amazing, consistent, uh, super clean shoe. S Mr. Hugh, outstanding work. This gets a 10, this gets a 10 out of 10, guys. This is a shoe I want. This gets a 10 out of 10. This this is a 10 out of 10. Mr. Hugh, you knocked it out of the park. I want to thank you for what you have done with these Taxi Ones. Is that the official name, guys? It's called the Taxi Ones, right? Because I can't find them. I know I have to Google it to find uh, images because I really do want to compare to see what's coming out. But I think these are official. I remember there was videos of... Uh, I guess an official shoe out there that was slightly different in color than this that was supposed to be what was coming out but didn't um do you guys like these better than the pollens i believe you do because this has the you know the the bread toe color blocking um it's the color blocking man with the sail the taxi yellow and the black it just knocked it out of the park this this color combo knocks it out of the park, guys. The pollens are great, but they're lacking uh, the color blocking that we see here. That's what uh, distinguishes these and, and, and is going to make these soar in value. I am going for retail. I hope you guys are going for retail. Uh, the retail is going to be a problem. The retail is going to be a problem. Uh, I should have bought early, but I'm glad... You, yo, did any of you used to get emails from Zade Kicks? Because I did. And I had stuff in cart, and I never pulled the trigger. I almost pulled the trigger like two, maybe three times, but I never did. And I'm glad that I never did. But uh, I hope nobody out there uh, had their money taken and not able to get it back. So I hope uh, any of you watching, if you did, uh, you were able to get your money back. I bought these Air Jordan 1. Retro High OGs in the Taxi Black Sale, size 9. Uh, Euro 42 and a half. Look at this box. Look at this box. This box is a really good looking box. Uh, really well constructed. One of the best 
boxes from Hugh. Uh, Mr. Hugh, by the way, if you didn't know, I, I, I have done one live unboxing or unwrapping from shipment. And Mr. Hugh specifically uh, always bubble wraps his boxes. Mr. Hugh boxes are usually one Hondo. They're usually 100% on point. Uh, does have your stamp on the box. Standard tissue paper and nothing else in the box. But the star of the show, ladies and germs, uh, is the Taxi Jordan 1. These joints are absolutely beautiful. Uh, you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. You need to go out right now. <laughs> if uh, you don't think you need a pair, you probably need a pair. These joints are beautiful. I can't wait to put them on feet. I went with a size nine to have that snug fit. Um, I just love it now. I love having that snug fit now. Um, it almost feels like I'm really naturally between a nine and a nine and a half. And um, I can go either. The nine and a half gives me all the room in the world that I need, but still feel right. It feels right. The fit feels right. Uh, the nine can feel a little snug with some fit with some shoes, but... Uh, uh, I like that sometimes. So, again, thank you for hanging out with your boy. Hit me up on Instagram uh, at Rivera.bo. If you want to find out anything, I can share links, uh, information, community information about uh, where I go to find out things, uh, to watch reviews and other stuff. Well, you guys know where to watch. Uh, you're watching on YouTube because I'm sure a lot of you are watching a lot of other channels. I'm learning a lot about the uh, YouTube analytics on these videos. Um, hey. Use Creptech. That's what I use. It's easy. I cop it at finish line. It gets me points on finish line as well. So that way uh, I can also use those points towards EA exclusive access on finish line, which seems like now that I'm at work without my phone, I always end up missing. But that's OK. The ones that I really want, hopefully I'm off and I can do those in the morning. But I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. It's your Uncle Bo. Uh, que Dios te bendiga y que tenga una semana, you know, bendecida. Peace.